Back to the channel. We are here with our next playoff game against uh, West Virginia. And I'm once again here with Joey tonight. Hello, everyone. And uh, going to be on our first map, Lijong Tower. Let me take a look. I was playing on this map the other night. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. I definitely one of my favorites. I I, I feel like we always end up playing on this one in these, yeah. in these matches, though. <laughs> I would agree. I definitely feel like I've seen this map two or three times. I've only cast a handful of games. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how this one goes. Looks like we already got Ben the Shark in a little bit of a tough spot here and getting eliminated right off the bat. And West Virginia is going to be the ones to take first capture. Yeah, Florida Tight gonna have to back up and regroup for the time being, but I definitely still have time to turn things around. I am excited by the comps that we're seeing though. Got some Doom Fists from West Virginia as well as some Life Weaver. I always love to see that. Looks like we're going to see a teleporter play here from Florida Tech as they go try to take the high ground right now. Going for the Life Weaver, not able to catch him up on the pedal platform, though. And Ultimate coming out from West Virginia's Doomfist, finding Borger, and then Ben the Shark going down once again. Poor Ben. Can't catch a break. I know, I feel so bad. Oh. Oh. Nice empty there from Greedy. And yeah, we definitely needed to take out that Doomfist. He was keeping us all bungled around. Oh! Oh, oh my sleep. god. Yeah, sleep coming just a little bit too late as <laughs> West Virginia's Reaper finds a double there with the Death Blossom and then the Nano going out to bed, but unfortunately not going to be able to get much out of it. Yeah, that was, that was a smart Death Blossom, though, because I think Florida Tech was going to try to take advantage there of the fact that, that Doomfist was down and... But we do have the shatter ready, as well as the, the sim wall going out, already going out, and then we got the tree coming out from West Virginia. But not gonna last too long, it looks like, as Borger tries to take it out. But Jake is also ready with that death blossom. We're three picks up, I believe. Always the last minute captures for us. <laughs> it, it always is. Really put the stress on us here, but. Lartitech able to turn things around at 99% from West Virginia, and it looks like the only ult they have ready right now is going to be the Bastion ult, but their Doomfist not too far behind. Looks like we're going to go ahead and throw out that Bastion ult to try to find some early picks. Greedy kind of getting caught in the middle there, and he is going to go down to it, but Ben is still ready with the Shatter, and Jake with the Death Blossom. There's a Shatter! Oh, getting a little hung up. Big Shatter, though. The rest of the team was able to capitalize on it, for the most yeah. part. Ooh! The last minute Kiriko save. Little Reaper 1v1. <laughs> yeah, that Mercy Pocket is making things a lot harder for Jake, though. I would agree. Oh, he still pulls out on top. Oh! Yeah, Florida Tech kind of narrowly hanging on to that. Taking out a lot of pressure, but still able to come out on top. Like I said, that was a l nice last minute little uh, save from Greedy. Swapping onto the Kiriko. And we are going to have a Death Blossom coming soon from West Virginia. And then they are once again ready with the tree for the Life Weaver. And it goes out right away. Borger tossing up that wall to give him some space to work with, and Ben trying to build up that shatter as they're all grouped up here. Oh, Blossom Meteor Strike from West Virginia. Oh, the double ult. Yeah, that combo really knocked him out, and no one from Florida Tech is going to be able to make it back, I don't believe. Come here, will you? And that is unfortunately going to be round one. Going to West Virginia. Honestly, pretty tight game. Each team had it to 99, so I was pretty impressed. 
Absolutely, yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, you know, like we saw there at the end, just lots of ults going out at the same time. They comboed that uh, Doom ult with the Reaper Blossom and just made it really hard for them to do anything else to contest that, but... Yeah, and I thought like the Doom Fist was kind of like punching us all around, so it's a little hard to keep together when you have a really good Doom Fist, at least. Right, yeah. And especially with all the support he's getting, you know, we saw that Mercy was on him. And then that life we were doing a good job staying up on the pedals and kind of staying out of the way, so he's always getting that support. So definitely making things difficult for Florida Tech right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I come back to a, <laughs> a double stun where he's lying on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did see a teleport play from Florida Tech here, um, but unfortunately, Borger is going to be the first one to go down, so they are going to be down one as they come to this fight. Those turrets still putting in work, though, keeping the Reaper at bay for just a little bit. Oof. Thought he was going to go off the map for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, too. That was close. Oh, they made it back up. Greedy made it back up. <laughs> I thought he got punched off. Same. Oh, <laughs> Doom Fist like slight miscalculation. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, not able to get that. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that. It's a yeah, perhaps right. it's a it's a play going I don't for understand. A reset. Yeah, <laughs> going go for a reset like a over here. Um, and yeah, West Virginia going to be taking first cap once again, up to twenty percent right now. Um, not seeing too many swaps just yet. Um, West Virginia is going to be pulling out the Kiriko as well instead of the Mercy this round, though. And Ben the Shark, unfortunately, taking that punch and then getting taken out by the Bastion. Florida Tech likely going to have to back up once again to make sure they go into this next one with their tank. And West Virginia still with some ults in the bank. They've almost got the Death Blossom, they've got the Bastion ult, got the tree, and they're charging up that Katune Rush, but the Katune Rush from Greedy is gonna go out first. And Ben the Shark once again getting knocked out by that Bastion pretty early on. And West Virginia is still hanging on to that Bastion ult and ready with the Death Blossom now. But Jake also ready with his Bastion ult and they've also got the beat. Hopefully something to try to contest that Reaper ult once they try to get around this corner. Ooh. Yeah, stop for the Reaper, but unfortunately too late. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, oh we made it! I'm proud. Uh, of course, I made it to the point and took out the bastard. He's capping. <laughs> it's always a 99% for us. <laughs> yeah, you called it last time. Once again, we're at 99% trying to cap here. Ben the Shark taking Ooh. a lot of pressure, but Amkar going crazy right now. And they flip it at the last second. What a nice little oh, save. Dang! <laughs> you love to see the boot. He was looking for it, I could I could tell. <laughs> I know he finally got it. I was hoping to see one. And then the shark also getting a nice early pick there. Onto West Virginia's Kiriko. But Florida Tech is gonna have to make a really impressive hold. If they want to make it all the way up to 99% and possibly push it in overtime, hopefully, you know, just just cap it up to 100. <laughs> but West Virginia is going to be ready with a couple ults. I uh, got that Doomfist ult as well as the tree. So we're going to see what they do with those. Tree going out pretty early over in the corner, but the Reaper coming in from behind and taking out Jake. And West Virginia 
Getting onto the point and capping. Oh, Ben trying to charge in, but getting stopped. Omkar here to try to save the day again with the Lucio contest. Oh. Oh no, the punch. Dang, they shut the door on Ben. Couldn't even let him outside. <laughs> That was so unfortunate, getting pushed back with that punch, but a very impressive first round there from West Virginia as they take match one. Um, this is going to be a best of five, uh, just like the other playoff games so far. Uh, so we will be going to at least three maps. But a nice play there from West Virginia's Doomfist. Um, yeah. And we will be back shortly. Take care.
initiating the match. Ready for battle. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here for round two against West Virginia, and this time we're going to be on Blizzard World, and we're going to be on defense. It is. <laughs> I'm excited to see uh, what comes in this map, and it looks like we are seeing some changes here for the last map, understandably, since it's a different mode. Um, but we're going to have Ben the Shark on the Sigma this time, Borger on the Bastion, Jake on the Ash, and then Green and Umkar on Ana and Mercy. And both teams are running a Sigma this time. Oh! Oh! oh. Uh, a res on our Bastion? Yeah, it was a nice He's save back. there. I think they tried to. <laughs> I think their Sigma tried to come and stop it, but Amkar able to get that save off, and then Borger finding their Mercy. I'm interested to see Ben on Sigma. I can't remember him playing Sigma. He probably has, but like... I think like I've seen him see I've seen Winston. I've seen his Ryan a lot. I think I've seen his Sigma. There was some Sigma last not last week. Last week was Thanksgiving. The week before last uh, yeah. week. There was some Sigma. Um Oh my god, that rock! Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, I was trying like a replay thing. Holy shit, I wanna see that. But it looks like West Virginia rotating up to the high ground right now. Possibly trying to find a pick with this Bastion. Or even with that Sojourn. But not finding anything so far. Borger doing a nice job keeping the pressure on with that damage boost from Omkar. But both teams nearly ready with a few ultimates. But Jake is going to find the stagger onto the Sojourn. But there's the res coming up from West Virginia. Borger throwing out the ultimate, not finding anything, but getting taken out while he's in it. Nope. Yep, West Virginia signal, not able to catch anything, but Gar on West Virginia, able to find two with that Sojourn ult, getting the damage boost on the high ground, still alive in the back it looks like. Ben trying to deal with this Sojourn, but that heal from the Mercy and then this Bastion ult making things difficult. And I don't think Florida Tech is going to try to contest this. So we are going to be moving into the Escort portion of Blizzard World. Escort the payload. Yeah. Yeah, Ben taking a lot of pressure there up on that high ground, but trying to rotate around, stay alive back here. Jake is going to be ready with the bob and throwing it right out. Trying to keep West Virginia back around this corner for just a little bit longer, but someone is on the payload pushing it. I'm not sure who. Looks like Bastion. Not for long, though. Jake finding that pick right there. And Sigma gonna be the last one left alive on the payload right now, with the rest of the team kind of staying back a little bit. Oh, 
Oh. Poor Sigma. <laughs> I know he got pushed into that room all by himself. And Flood Attack able to stall them right here in the middle, for now. Um, but making sure to make good use of this high ground as West Virginia tries to find their footing around the edge, swapping onto the Soldier instead of the Bastion. And it looks like they are going to be pulling out the Kiriko instead of a Mercy. Oh, and here's the, the gold from signal. Ben. Unless it just played the audio twice for me. <laughs> no, no, I think they both. Oh, yeah. Yeah, neither able to really find anything. Ben getting a few weak in the back line, but not able to find anything concrete. But he is able to find that pick onto the soldier, trying to take out the Kiriko now, and there he finds it. Oh, he has a soldier no oh, I was about to call out the soldier no but Jake taking them off right as they popped it. Huh. And coming down to about a minute ten here, as Florida Tech is making a pretty strong hold right here in the center of this first area. So West Virginia gonna have to make some pretty big moves here. If they want to push this further. And they are making some swaps. Swapping over to the D.Va instead of the Sigma. And then there's Yo coming out from Bastion Jake. Able to find the Kiriko. Well, uh, the, <laughs> run, soldier! He's getting stuck! <laughs> yeah, I got body blocks in that room. <laughs> Ben getting a little held up on the street side there. I know, yeah, I, I was like, okay, <laughs> I now know where I'm turning. <laughs> checking in. He's checking if there's the right address. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but coming down to the last 15 seconds now, Florida Tech still maintaining this high ground. There's the visor coming out from West Virginia Soldier. Everyone's staying alive so far. Ben able to find that early pick onto the Sojourn. And Jake. They able to catch the soldier. Diva still alive on payload for West Virginia. Nice cleanse there from the Kiriko. Tree going up to try to keep them alive, but it's not going to be enough. Still trying to contest here with the Tracer Life Weaver, though. Oh, so soldier might. Oh. Thought he was going to get stuck in the room again. <laughs> I thought, like, yeah, thought Sigma was going to body block. <laughs> But that is going to be the end of the first round here on Blizzard World, and we are going to have Florida Tech swapping over to the offensive this time instead of the defensive. So uh, for those of you who are not familiar with these hybrid maps, uh, Florida Tech is going to have to match West Virginia's push. So about halfway through the first escort area, right under this bridge. Um, so we're going to have to see how Florida Tech does. I think uh, West Virginia... They capped the first point relatively quickly, uh, but then just kind of got held up on the escort portion. So if they want to make good time, Florida Tech likely going to have to try to do the same, take care of this capture point quickly, and then make sure they have enough time to get to that checkpoint. Oh, well, you know, surviving. And how's Luffy doing much better now that you aren't feeding her scraps all the time? I don't even know you could open that treasure chest. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, Bastion, how are you settling? I think there's another one down by the water you can open like that too. That was fun to play with on uh, the. We were talking about before, the, we were talking about the prop hunt, Kiriko prop hunt. I like the shark. You can like punch the shark and he just flings around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. I just like popping all the balloons. <laughs> But here we go, starting off on the offensive for Florida Tech, and little little bit of a switch up from West Virginia. So running that Bastion, still running the Sigma, but we are going to see some May on here, which can be very effective with some of these smaller doorways. And then Jake 
gonna be on the sojourn this time. And Borger's gonna be the first to go down, but getting that rest from Omkar, so so it didn't even happen. Exactly. Oh, Ben kinda getting held up here, getting separated by that Maywall. But they're able to keep him alive as they try to come out of this room, but taking on a lot of pressure from that Bastion on the high ground. Ooh. Yeah, very nice pick there from Ben. And then no mercy on West Virginia this round. So no res is going to be coming in. As Florida Tech rounds this corner, trying to get around this May wall. And Greedy almost ready with the Nano. Omkar ready with that Valkyrie, so plenty of support ult to keep him up right here. But this might come down to who can get ultimates first as things are looking pretty close right now. Oh, And it is going to yeah, be the May. Yeah, May popping first. It will stop that res. Nano and a Ben, though, able to keep him alive for the time being. But not going to be for long, it looks like. Greedy going to be the last one left alive. Poor Greedy. I was honored, though, to see him <laughs> valiantly try to heal his teammate. I know, he stayed till the end. Yeah, unfortunately, West Virginia able to build up that mail pretty quickly before Florida Tech could get theirs, and look like they're still charging, but we're probably gonna have three around the same time. But West Virginia already ready with that Graphitic Flux, got the Bastion ult, got the Katune Rush. Whew. Ah, oh, Borger getting a little hung up there, not able to make it around the corner. For us. Florida Tech gonna be coming down to about a minute 30. So still some time to take this capture point. But West Virginia doing a nice job holding those ultimates, making sure they've got at least something to try to contest Florida Tech's push. Still have the Bastion ult ready. And then also ready with that Katsune Rush and the tree. No Sigma. <laughs> Oh, Amkar getting taken out early by that May, and then the Bastion all taking out Ben and Greedy also going down. But it's like not gonna have a lot of time here to try to get in. Ready with a few ultimates though, if they can make some room with one of these, then there might still be hope. We always are a last minute team. They just wanted it to be a nail biter. <laughs> For real, we just gotta hope we can pull through here. And Borger is going to be the first one to pop the ultimate, trying to push them off that high ground, but a nice cleanse there from West Virginia's Kiriko. Here comes a Sojourn ult from Jake, getting blocked off by this Maywall. Oh! See if he can find another! It's close. Trying to find one of the supports, but getting stalled by the May, but Ben! Able to find the Life Weaver, come up behind oh. and take out the Kiriko. Oh, this May Freeze. But only the Sigma going to be left alive from West Virginia. He tries to find one more before he goes down, but isn't able to. And it looks like, like you said, going to be a last minute cap here. It's always how they like anyone, to do it. <laughs> I don't think anyone from West Virginia is going to attempt to stall here. And we're seeing kind of the opposite, uh, you know, like I was saying in the beginning, kind of the opposite of what happened with West Virginia, where they captured the capture point pretty quickly and then had a lot of time in the escort portion, but now we're seeing the reverse here, where it took Florida Tech a while to get their footing on this capture point, now moving to the escort. They're down to only two minutes, well, trying to match the push. <laughs> Froze Ice Cube, mid-air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the floating icicles is crashing down. Oh, nice save there. Negating that Sigma ult from West Virginia and Jake. Catching two, two taking out the Bastion and the Kiriko. Oh, make that three. Flutter Tech not wasting any time. Let's see. We might get it. 
Yeah, we might. They've got some time to get back, but I don't know if they have anybody Ooh. fast enough. Wow. They don't. There we go. Round two. Going to Florida Tech. Good game. Good game. That was. That was definitely a nail baiter, like you were saying. They, they cut it close there on that capture point. I wasn't sure if we were going to pull it through, but we did. And yeah, see this play of the game from Jake. Jake really popped off here at the end. I know, he was... I saw like a two and then a three. I was like, ooh. Yeah, turn around, tried to find one more onto the Sigma. But that is going to be the end of round two. So we are going to be tied up one and one now. So we are we are not going to have a 3-0 game, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you in just a few minutes uh, for our next round. And not sure what map yet, so we're going to see. Be right back. What are we on, Suravasa? Yeah. I think we're on that map a lot, too. <laughs> well, I think, um... The teams kind of look at... All right, everybody, welcome back to map number three. We're on a flashpoint this time. Uh, we're just talking about back on Saravasa. I think that's how you say it. Probably. <laughs> but I am excited for this one. I, I thought we might see some Junker Queen plays from Ben. Oh. We have been seeing a little bit of Junker Queen on this one. It looks like they're going to be running the Pharmacy on West Virginia. Already giving Borg a run for his money, taking him out right off the bat. See if Omkar can come in for the res, but already getting pressure from that Doomfist who's trying to prevent that. And between this Doomfist and this Fara, Florida Tech already under a lot of pressure as West Virginia takes first cap. And I feel like I have explained Flashpoint all the time, but I'm going to explain it one more time to show those who aren't familiar. Um, so Flashpoint, essentially, is pretty new. 
Um, is basically like any other capture map, King of the Hill style. Um, but the point is going to move every time it's captured. And it is first to three on these flashpoint maps. So once this point gets captured, it's going to move somewhere else and then they're going to have to contest for it again. And whoever can capture three points first will take the map. And West Virginia is already well on their way to taking this first point up to 70%. But Borger is able to find that pick under the Doomfist and onto the Soldier. Our soldiers plus just put some pep in his step to get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof. I was about to say, I was getting a little nervous there. I didn't see any McCabby. <laughs> <laughs> but we, Florida Tech going to take cap on this first point. Another 99%. 99. <laughs> Yeah, I was getting a little stressed that's... there because I saw everybody dead, but then I didn't hear the timer going down, so I'm like, oh, wait, no. <laughs> that's just how we like it. You know, 98 is a little too low. You gotta yeah, get to yeah. 99. But a few ultimates ready from both teams. Ben almost ready with this Graffitic Flex, but West Virginia's Doomfist ready with his ult, and then also ready with that Valkyrie charging up that Kitsune Rush as well. It is going to be the Valkyrie that gets popped first from both teams. Omkar popping is as well. No picks just yet, as West Virginia's Doomfist throws out his ultimate, but Ben able to find the Kiriko. Borger unfortunately going down though, but there's the rest of car. Oh! Ben is really showing his stuff right now. He is, the Nano from Greedy really helping him out there. Withdrawing the barrier. And... I'm not sure if anyone from West Virginia is going to make it back. Yeah, we might have it in the bag. Oh, oh no, nope. here comes the Doomfist. Sneak here. It's Une Rush as well. And Borger just shredding anyone that tries to come in here. Last minute visor coming out from West Virginia, but Borger once again taking him out, looking for another one under the Kiriko. Last minute life grip able to get her away for the time being, but... Jake not taking any prisoners. Hmm. And first flashpoint is going to go to Florida Tech. <laughs> the bounce didn't quite work. <laughs> yeah, Slight not, miscalculation. Not quite able to make it up there. <laughs> A little too short. <laughs> but Jake is going to be ready with that visor on the soldier, getting the damage boost from Omkar. Damage. And Graffitic Flux from Ben. It would find the Kiriko early, but Borger unfortunately getting taken out. Don't think they're going to be getting oh. the res on that. Oh my god. Poor Mercy. Slammed in the corner. Yeah, everybody on the high ground just getting destroyed by West Virginia's Doomfist. And once again, they are going to take first cap onto the second point, but that didn't stop Florida Tech last time. They were able to turn things around at 99%, so definitely still a chance to get in here. They've got the visor, they've got the Valkyrie. And West Virginia ready with that tree. Ooh, good. But still waiting on a few empty. other things. I've got you in my sights. See if we can find another one. There it is. There. Oh, one more. Oh, he's got it. Oh! I have hope. There we go, Ben finding the Doofus before he's able to get away. And I am seeing quite a few ultimates ready from both teams. And Ben is almost ready with yet another one. And then West Virginia's Doomfist charging up his as well. So likely gonna have four ultimates ready <laughs> on both teams. And it seems like the trend lately has been the Bastion ultimates coming out first, and there we go. It's gonna be Borger popping that ultimate right now. 
Dang, I'll tell you what, as soon as he landed, that boulder was just waiting for him. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ben with these boulders has been a little Ooh. scary. Oh, nice life grip there. In West Virginia. There's a graphitic flux coming out from oh. Ben. Not quite able to catch the Kiriko. She gets around the corner. But somebody made it to point. Always the Doomfist. He is speedy like that. He is taking those dives right on. I think that was exactly what happened last time. He dove onto the point. And it's going to be point number two going to Florida Tech. And like I said at the beginning, one more point and this map will go to Florida Tech. But they're going to have to make a strong hold on this next one. If they want to make this a 3-0 game. And we are seeing a bit of a change up here. From West Virginia, swapping onto that D.Va instead of the Doomfist. Still keeping a mobile tank, but... Maybe going with a little bit more defensive power here. Ben coming in with the Nano from Greedy, able to knock the D.Va out of the mech. Ooh. And Jake finishing them off. Oh, Jay. Little head, head peek. Oh, they have to take a nap after that, I guess. <laughs> that was, you know, it was exhausting work. They wore him out a little. Keeping the recoil, I guess, on the soldier mm. gun. Ever since the buff, I know it was like so long ago. So yeah. hard to get it down, I feel like. The barrier appears. And we are going to see Jake ready with that soldier visor, as well as West Virginia soldier, though. Uh, Borger also going to be ready with the... There we go. Never mind, not anymore, because he's throwing it right now. Borger ready with that Bastion <laughs> ult, trying to catch the soldier or the Life Weaver, but not able to find anything. Knocking that diva out of mech, though. And West Virginia kind of getting stuck in this room over here. Jake still hanging on to that visor, but West Virginia Soldier also still ready with his. A nice sleep from Greedy. There's the Nano and Tree going out, though, from West Virginia to try to push things into overtime. And West Virginia Steve does find two, taking out both DPS right off the bat. There's a visor from West Virginia finding two, probably going for a third on a bed. This time we got 99. We wanted them to feel what it's like to get the, the 99 <laughs> yeah, gotta, clutch. <laughs> gotta share the experience. Hello. Spread the love. Yep. But Florida Tech definitely still has some time to get in here as West Virginia approaches 30%. Almost ready with that Nano. And then Ben ready with the Graphitic Flux. But they're gonna have that Diva Bomb. Plenty of places to hide on this map, though, I've noticed. You know, the Diva Bomb's going out. Not too many wide open spaces on this point in particular. Still manages oh. to find Borger, though. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, but he's back. <laughs> it didn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> Borger just Nano. went to the bathroom. Now he's back. <laughs> yep. And that Nano going on to Ben. Helping them finish things off, and that is going to be map number three. Saravasa going to Florida Tech, bringing things up two to one in favor of Florida Tech. And I'm well, actually curious to see how they play here. Oh. Oh, this unfortunate room. Oh, not this. <laughs> oh, oh. Dang. Mercy was just in the wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> but that is going to be, like I said, map number three. Uh, so we will be back in a few minutes uh, for map number four. And if Florida Tech can pull out a win on this next map, then they will take this series against West Virginia. Uh, but if not, we will be going into a map five as it is first to three. Uh, so we'll see you back here in a few minutes to see what happens. Take care.
<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. We are here on Esperanza for map number four in this series against West Virginia. Florida Tech currently up two to one. Um, so if they are able to take this map, uh, then that will be the end of the series against West Virginia. So we're gonna see if they can pull out a win here. Or I see a Junker uh, Queen on the opposing team. I know, I'm so excited. At least we get to see some. That's true, yeah, I was thinking we were going to see some Dr. Queen for Ben last round, but... Here we go, West Virginia's Dr. Queen finding that first pick on a Borger, and then Omkar not able to get in for the res, it looks like. And West Virginia making some pretty big switches to their comp for push. You know, like we saw running the Dr. Queen, running the May here. Oh. And then also running that Baptiste. So yeah, funny that Sigma can suck up like high caliber bullets, but like I guess a little bit of snow is, but not is ice. the only thing he can <laughs> he can't really get in there. <laughs> Too much. He didn't perfect his technology for ice, apparently. But Flood Attack still gonna be running that Sigma this time. Still gonna have Borger on the Bastion, and then keeping that on a Mercy for the time being. I have been surprised at the lack of Baptiste uh, that we've seen tonight. So I was excited to see some Baptiste coming out from West Virginia. And West Virginia looks like they're charging up those ultimates pretty fast, already throwing out that window. And Borger going down, but also their soldier going down, so both teams going to be down to DPS at the moment. But not for long, Amgar finding the res on the Borger. Oh, but going oh, down himself. A sacrifice. Unfortunately in vain as Oof. Borger goes down to this male. So West Virginia's moving, moving right along here. Good choice. Already past that first checkpoint as they've got that forward spawn. But Floyd Attack almost ready with a few ultimates. Ben got his, Borger, Greedy, Omkar, and then Jake charging up that visor on Soldier. But there's a Junker Queen up coming out from West Virginia. Able to catch a few members of Floyd Attack, but nobody going down, it looks like. Trying to find Greedy, though, who got trapped in that room by himself for a little bit. Oh, Ben! Oh, well, Nano Catching action. Nano. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's been on the receiving end of all the Nanos. Uh, so far, Device. I think maybe one went to Jake at some point, but. Dash it off from Borger. Trying to find an early pick, but unfortunately not able to catch anything. Ooh. Running that Kiriko Baptiste. Oh! Wow. Ben! They couldn't get away. <laughs> they could not, yeah. I think they used everything. I was about to talk about the, the immortality stuff that uh, Kiriko and Baptiste had, but I think they used both of their abilities um, when trying to hide from that Bastion ult. So by the time Ben rounded that corner with that Graphitic Flux, they didn't have anything left to stop it. And Flood Attack slowly but surely making their way to West Virginia's checkpoint as they come around trying to take high ground up here. Taking out a lot of pressure right at the bat. Lots of ultimates going out. The Visor <laughs> coming out from Jake and also from West Virginia Soldier, but also the Katsune Rush and then Junker Queen <laughs> still alive. Just absolutely. Oh my god, that cleanse from that was West really Virginia. Good. Holy crap. Saved it from the boulder. Yeah, that last minute. And Ben really trying to find West Virginia's Kiriko. But not quite able to get in there as this Junker Queen just pushes past the shield and really puts the pressure on, so. No! <gasps> oh, ben! Oh, no! Oh. That May Wall, absolutely devastating. We're outnumbered. Always gets Stay you strong. at the worst times. Especially there, he just he couldn't even get by. He was just stuck in the corner. 
Yeah, Flight Attack gonna have to quickly regroup. Try to make sure that West Virginia doesn't gain any more ground. As they get to that forward spawn once again. And they are ready with three ultimates already in Florida Tech. Not quite there with anything. But Ben hopefully able to charge up this Graphitic Flex quickly enough. Pop it before they can get all theirs off. Here's a May Freeze from West Virginia. Able to catch Ben once again. Just getting stuck by that May. Oh, the Junker Queen knife pulling him back in. <laughs> I think he died by his own rockets too. Same. <laughs> yeah, West Virginia quickly approaching the end here. But Borger trying to find something with that Bastion ult, unfortunately not able to catch anything, but Ben ready with a Graphitic Flux this time. See At if least he got the, the immortality trick. field. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering if they'll be able to pull the same thing here, since they won't be ready with that immortality again. And Jake, capitalizing the most on the chaos, it looks like, finding two there. And Florida Tech holding for now, but they've got a long way to go. They gotta, like, double their distance. Oh, yeah. And it looks like West Virginia is regrouping quickly. Once again, going for that same spot up on the high ground. Oh, Borger! Nice early pick! Taking out that May right off the bat, and then Borger trying to find another one under the Junker Queen. Soldier Visor on the high ground from West Virginia. Able to find Borger. Gonna be down that DPS for now. And then Ben... Oh no, oh. Greedy! Jake's still alive and well, though. And Ben getting rezzed by Omkar. West Virginia is just regrouping really quickly. They're able to, you know, as soon as they get knocked out, they're right back up again. Definitely, and when it seems like they're not grouped up, they seem to be able to handle their own. I or know, I was about to say, they, they, they were looking staggered, but then they all came out right right on that side, and they're back together again. Ben, making sure to clean up, though. Exerting staying, staying strong on point. Yep, holding down the fort right now. <laughs> with Jake and Greedy, and... Almost ready with that Graphitic Flux, well, well on the way. Jake ready with the visor, Greedy with the nano. What if we might see a nano visor here? That would be very, very cool. I feel like we saw one not too long ago. So I'd like to see it again. Yeah, take a look at. Oh, here there it goes! It here it goes! <laughs> the way that West Virginia soldier is immediately turning heel and running up there as soon as the <laughs> visor got. <laughs> I guess I don't blame him. Yeah. But Unfortunately, he couldn't Virginia. find them, though. I felt like he was I looking know. for them. Yeah, got a little hung up there on that side, but... West Virginia coming out on top of that one and making their way back towards that first checkpoint. But, like it like Florida Tech is regrouping faster this time. He's gonna be ready at this arts to contest as we come down to the last minute. Oh my god, that sleep? I know, I was like, is she doing an emote or is she falling asleep? <laughs> the way her body just like kind of fell down. Got sniped from all the way under the bridge. <laughs> and Borger not finding anything with the Bastion ult. But still ready with the Graphitic Flux from Ben and the Nomcar charging up that Valkyrie. Here's another visor coming out from West Virginia Soldier. Kiriko oh, pushing the payload right now, as everyone's distracted on the side. There's a May Freeze from West Virginia, and I don't think anybody realizes that Kiriko's pushing the payload right now. That Anna to save Bastion was honorable. Gonna be the contest from Jake, trying to keep things alive. 
and they are able to get rid of the Kiriko and the Soldier, but in overtime now, and Florida Tech still has a good ways to go, while West Virginia regroups, and I assume once again gonna go for that high ground approach. Ready with the window, might see a play from up there with that, but otherwise no ults ready from either team yet. Borger trying to charge up this Bastion ult right now though. Getting a little left behind at the moment though. Gotta make sure nobody gets taken out here in overtime. Or else that might be it, but there goes Greedy. Gonna be down that support, here's the rest from Omkar though. Oh yeah, that high Burger. ground window. Ben, the last one standing, goes down. Very honorable. And that is going to be the end of map number four. So we are going to be going for the second time um, in our NECC matches, going into a map number five. So it's going to be all coming down to the end as we see who wins this one, Florida Tech or West Virginia. <laughs> Very unfortunate ending. Not quite able to catch the res, but we will be back in just a few minutes for our last map as we see who's going to take this one. Um, so, catch you guys in a few. A bit.
Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here for map number five, our final map. Um, as we see who is going to take the win in this series of Florida Tech versus West Virginia. Whoever takes this map will move on uh, to the finals for our division. So we're going to see who's going to be moving on. Uh, it's very stressful here as we come down to this final map and Borger getting hooked already by West Virginia's Roadhog. But able to save it, Jake finding that pick out of the Farah. I didn't see Jake switching to the Hanzo until now. But I'm I interested know. to see how he goes. You can't hide. We've seen Soldier, we've seen Sojourn, we've seen Ash. I get to see his Hanzo abilities. Mm -hmm. Might have a bit more of a difficult time though, contesting this far with the Hanzo, so we'll see. Especially with this far Mercy going on oh. right now. Oh my god! I can't believe he just said that. The wall climb strat he has is... And it looks like West Virginia already making that swap off of the Roadhog and then matching Florida Tech going onto that Sigma. Borger getting caught up there, getting taken out Yo. by the Rock. And there's a window as well from West Virginia's Baptiste. Jake trying to force him back with the dragons for now. Borger able to find that mercy, and then Bar going down as well. There's the nano on the bend already finding the Sigma. Yo, looking for another one. Wow. Marked by the dragon. Ben making the most of these nanos tonight. But we are going to see Borger ready with this Bastion ult, likely going to pop that soon. And then Omkar ready with the Valkyrie. West Virginia's Far ready with the Barrage. So I'm curious to see where this is going to get popped. Everybody kind of grouped up on the high ground for Florida Tech right now. And it looks like she's trying to sneak around the back. Bang! Get him, oh, Borger. there we go! Not able to stop the res, but take out the Mercy. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dang! They took that personal. A little personally. bit of revenge. <laughs> that was personal. Feel <laughs> stronger. But West Virginia moving things along, making around this corner now that they force Florida Tech up the high ground. And looking like they might try to go for a contest, but they're going to have to hop on now. Jake able to jump in there as Hanzo and Borger finding the Ana from West Virginia. A good Florida retake. Tech. Yeah, able to come back in time. You can't hide. Cutting things a little close, but you know that's, that's how we roll. Okay. Got him with the last one. Be clean. <laughs> Scanning. Thirty seconds remaining. Oh wow! I wasn't even looking at the time. Thirty seconds left. Flutter Tech still making a decent hold. They got two ultimates ready, but both Sigmas. Ready with that Graphitic Flux, I'm not sure who's going to pop first. It's going to be West Virginia trying to pick off support here, but Jake is going to be the one to go down by that Graphitic Flux. Here comes a res from Omkar though, trying to keep as many people alive as possible. Ben able to find their Ana, taking out a support. But this Visor from West Virginia really dealing some damage, able to find a triple. Ben's still alive, trying to contest for just a little bit longer, but it's not going to last. As we do move into the I was second expecting escort. to see the dragons from Jay, but he didn't pop them yet. Yeah, he got taken out a little bit too early there to get those the dragons dragon off, unfortunately. Awakens. You can't hide. But yeah, Jake's still holding on to those dragons. Greedy almost ready with the nano. Ooh, but Borger going down pretty early here. Try to see a West Virginia soldier. Omkar getting knocked out of the res there, so they are going to be down that DPS as they round this choke point. Here comes oh. the nano to Ben. Trying to find that Kiriko, almost, but not quite. 
Oh. Oh no. Ben's still somehow alive wow. on the payload. Tell you what, Ben's just really just out here eating shots. Oh my god. Yeah, there taking out both supports. After a, a worthy amount of fighting. Yeah, it's gonna be in like Sigma and May. Sigma and May soldier left alive from West Virginia on the payload right now. But there's another Gephidic Flux coming out from West Virginia. Woo! And West Virginia making much better time as they move into this last escort area with two minutes and about 15 seconds left on the clock. Still ready with the May for use and then almost ready with that Kitsune rush and the soldier visor. But Florida Tech ready with the Flux and ready with the Bastion ult. Likely to pop that Bastion ult first. Under my protection. Actuating the barrier. And here we go, here's the ultimate from Borger. Trying to catch someone in the back line, but not Watch able to they... find anyone. Yep. Ben's aggro with, as Sigma really is just, it keeps pushing him back. I know really he's really pushing in our favor. Forward. Let me you out. Yeah, able to push things back for the time being, and still hanging on to that graphitic flux. Didn't heels. even have to pop it. Marked by the dragon. Let the dragon consume you. We must strike them down. Wonder if we're gonna see an early flux here, though, from Ben. Here's a May freeze coming out, pairing it with the visor. Nice cleanse there from Greedy Rope, keeping Ben up for now. Oh, Borger taking on a lot of pressure though. Oh, the Nano under the May to save her. Oh. Ben still hold on to that Flux. Gonna have to try to get out of spawn as fast as possible to pop that. But Western is Diva ready with the bomb. I wonder if she can throw it right in a spawn here to keep him even getting out. Oh. And there it is! Nice wall to save things, but I don't think that's gonna leave them enough time to get out to contest. Yeah, oh. not quite. And West Virginia gonna make it all the way to the end of Shambali. So we are gonna have to see on the push from Florida Tech, they are going to have to match that, so they're going to have to make it all the way if they want to stay alive. I have hope. We always like to bring it down to a nail biter. Ooh. I know, this one's really close, though. What is the payload doing? <laughs> oh. It's just warming up. <laughs> it's <is> still going. <laughs> There's a rev in the engine. <laughs> It's like, oh, I gotta do this all again. And keeping the similar comp so far. So gonna have Borger on the Bastion, then on the Sigma, but gonna have a May of our own, Jake, swapping things up, going on to the May, and it looks like West Virginia hanging on to theirs as well. The Mace tonight have definitely been proving to be quite the formidable opponent between the walls and the, the ultimates. Yeah. Definitely been some win condition moments. Yeah, those May walls, especially onto the tank, especially on like Ben, like we saw on. Uh, God, why do I keep forgetting that map name? The last push map, because I can't, I don't have any brain cells tonight. Uh, <laughs> on the last push map, we saw a lot of May walls that are very effective. So hopefully we'll, we'll get some of our own effective May plays from Jake. Oh my god, a big anti though coming out from West Virginia. Onto the stairs here. No. Just as we were talking about the May walls. I know, poor Greedy and Jake getting separated here, but able to be kept up by Omkar. 
Still getting held up on the staircase as they try to force West Virginia off the high ground. And now we're gonna back up for now and regroup. Borger trying to make it out of this with his life. <laughs> care of you the barrier appears barrier is nearly spent <laughs> and flood attack getting around this corner but west virginia is still trying to hold the high ground for the time being ready with that visor ready with that graphitic flux Oh, early pick on a Borger. Gonna be down that DPS, and there's the visor. Dang. Right as Borger gets res. And the combo of those ults. Forcing Florida Tech back once again, but... West Virginia having to use a few ultimates there. I think they just lost the Flux, the visor. As well as the Nano, so... We got some ults going in ourselves. Yeah, good opportunity. Roster. <laughs> yeah, now is a good time. Now that we've got all these ultimates and West Virginia doesn't have any. There's y'all from Jake looking for another one on the Kiriko. He finds it. Saving the other four for when they try to wrap around this corner in case they get met with any resistance. West Virginia's May. Almost ready with a freeze. And then they've got that Kitsune Rush as well. Not sure if they're going to use it to try to make it to contest or not. Doesn't seem like it. But hoping to use these ultimates to try to get around this corner area here. Which can be a little tricky. And he's a graphitic flux coming out from Ben. Able to catch both supports there, but a nice cleanse not able to save them. The Nano once what, again on the Ben. The boulder combo is Sigma's like main like attack is just is beautiful on the, the, the smaller units. It is, yeah. Not a lot of time once you get knocked down by that to get yourself back up. It's just it really does do like the perfect amount of damage to kill those like two hundred health units. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna see Borger popping that Bastion ult. Not able to find anything, it seems, but Ben with that rock! Able to find West Virginia Sigma trying to find another one onto the May hiding in this room over here, and they find it before she could pop her ultimate. Ooh! Ooh, nice pick from Jake! And Phototech. Not gonna have any, or no, they're gonna have the Sigma already, ready with the Flux, as they come around this corner, but... West Virginia doing a good job conserving those ultimates. Throwing out the Kitsune rush early, but still ready with the May Freeze, got the Pfizer. Ben trying to pop his ult early, finding the Ana from West Virginia. There's the Pfizer coming out though, from Graysoul, able to find Greedy, both teams down that Ana. Ben barely able to stay alive right now. Here's the Graphitic Flux coming out from West Virginia. Oh, oh the rock! The rock! That was so clutch! Ben! I love you, Ben. <laughs> that was beautiful. And Florida Tech, we're in the final stretch here. If they're able to take out this Ana. Stopping at that D.Va last minute, though, to try to get in here and contest. There's a Nano on the Ben. Not sure if it's really going to be needed, though. Oh, no. There comes a the soldier. Any more? No. <laughs> and that's going to be round two. And Florida Tech, you know, like we said, they had to match that push on the first round for West Virginia. And they've, they've done just that, but with plenty more time to spare. Um, West Virginia went into overtime there on their attack round, so they're only going to have a minute flat to make it as far as they can, but Florida Tech can be ready with 3 minutes and 35 seconds. 
So curious to see if all of that extra time is going to be put to good use. That was a close one. I'm glad we pulled through, though. It Who was, was popping ult after ult, though. I will say that. Take care of each other. But like, I was seeing an influx waiver every like two seconds. <laughs> Delta M of a given ray Q is approximately. Hmm. The formula escapes me. Whew, I'm stressed. All right. Let's see. So we are going to have Florida Tech on the defense for this first round. And like I said, West Virginia only going to have one minute to try to make it as far as possible, and then Florida Tech's gonna have three minutes and 35 seconds to try to match that. Sticking with the same comp, keeping the May Sigma. But West Virginia running a bastion of their own this time. Rounding that corner, Florida Tech's gonna have to jump off this high ground. Already down to 30 seconds. Yeah, not a lot of time left, and there we go, Jake finding two. Oof. There we Border. go, the rest of the team. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to recover from that. I don't think anyone's going to be able to make it back in time. Doomfist is back. Can he save it? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to make it. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my god, that he went scared blind. me. <laughs> I like. Oh, just barely able to force him to do an overtime. Never doubt Doomfist, I guess. Hey, yeah, those elbow dives. Oh my god. Round three. Florida Tech. <laughs> stalling him pretty early right around that first corner. Whew. And Doomfist, gonna... though. Coming yeah. over that May wall, too. <laughs> <laughs> But Florida Tech could have three <laughs> minutes and 35 <laughs> seconds to match that distance. And I, th I think they can do it. I'm hopeful. I am too. We really showed that we were ready. I am curious to see what characters are going to be used on the defense here for West Virginia. About, about the same from everybody. Stay same inside. as last round. Uh, both teams still running that Sigma. Got the May, Bastion. Hi. Different supports though, West Virginia. Running that double immortality. Got the Baptiste as well as the Kiriko. Gotta love it. The Baptiste is coming back. Yeah, yeah. like I was saying before, I was surprised. You know, we've seen a lot of Baptiste in the last few uh, matches against other teams over the weeks and so I've, I've been surprised at the lack of baptiste lately now when you said that i was like you know fair point i do uh do recognize that that you called it out mm -hmm. so it's nice to see them coming back and here we go florida tech on the offense Oof. oh my god that shield is so far is, is soaking it up <laughs> Maywall going up to try to keep some of that damage from reaching the rest of the team. Lamp going out pretty early from West Virginia's Baptiste. He's from Thane. But yeah, able to work in their favor. That immortality really giving Thane room to move and find those two picks. But Florida Tech. Has plenty of time to work with here. Still down to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And they only have to get a little bit farther. Jake finding that pick. Onto the other May. Gonna be down to DPS. No mercy to res that. Ooh. Lamp is gone and the rest of Florida Tech is oh. pushing in. And here we go. There's the old coming out for Borger. Only Kiriko left to contest. Running in with the Tracer, last minute contest here for West Virginia, not going to last too long though. Ooh, there it is. And that is going to be it. 
A very close game. Play of the game. Oh, Borger. Ooh. Found somebody lacking up in airspace. I know. Didn't get to see that mid-air kill under the Fara. But that is going to be the end of our matches uh, tonight against West Virginia. I believe uh, this means that we are going into the finals next week. Um, I'm not sure. I think it might be against uh, Concord or Arkansas. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, for that game next week. Um, but good GDs to West Virginia. That was a very exciting game. Definitely kept us on our toes the entire time. Um, Anything that gets the 5-5 five five is just automatically a good one. <laughs> I know. I know. That was our second one so far. So it's always fun to do those. But we will see you guys uh, next week, I believe, uh, for that finals match. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, Joey, you got, got anything else? I'm excited for the finals. It's nice to see us winning. We've been on that undefeated <laughs> winning streak since I started. So trying to maintain that. If we can go all the way, that'll be hype. So that's why next yeah, week. Yeah, keep it going. It's going to be exciting. But we hope you guys have a good rest of your night. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week. Take care.